Hey guys. If anybody's there. <laughs> we're gonna give it one minute here and we're gonna start an at-home video for you guys online. Uh, if you're joining us, uh, we are giving you some at-home videos um, to do, you know, at the time when we all need to be inside our outdoors doing something. Um, so Nicole, this is Melissa. Uh, we have a lower body and core workout for you today. You do not need any equipment. You just need yourself, a towel, some water. If you're going to do this video without us or not following us when we post it to YouTube, you'll need a timer as well. Um, I've got eight exercises for you to do. We're going to do 50 seconds of work with these exercises, 10 seconds of rest, so we're really going to get that heart rate up and going. Um, we're going to have a little bit of a rest, and we're going to do this three times. And Mel and I are going to do the whole thing for you, right? So this is going to be a great workout that we're going to do today. Um, as you know, we've had to close down the doors, but your health and your fitness is super important to us. So um, Monday and Friday, you'll get a live video on the weekends. We're going to give you workouts that you can do um, on your own, and we'll, uh, we'll all get through this together. All right, so let's talk about what we're gonna do. We're gonna get warmed up and then we're gonna get right into the workout, okay? Um, so we're gonna do a single leg reverse lunge with a hop or a knee drive, depending on where you're at. So the single leg reverse lunge, you wanna take it back into that lunge, making sure that back knee is underneath the hip, front knee is over those toes. We're either gonna add a hop when we come up or we wanna add that knee drive, driving it through the core, bringing it back down into that lunge. Driving through the core, bringing it back down, okay? a little bit more of a challenge, a little bit more stability, working on that leg. We're gonna do this right, then we're gonna do this left. We're then gonna take it down to the ground. We're gonna do a high plank, single leg knee drive with a plank jack or a plank tap. So you're gonna come down into your plank position. If you wanna drive the knee into the chest, knee to the chest, plank jack or tap it out, okay? So you'll knee drive, knee drive, plank jack or tap it out, okay? Making sure you engage that core. You want your shoulders over top of your wrists. The next thing we're going to do is a single leg Romanian deadlift. So zipping up through that right side first, engaging that core. We're going to hinge at the hips, lengthening out that hamstring, and then they can slow engage and pull it all the way up. So you're working on that leg, lengthening out the hamstring and pulling it in. You can almost do it with a toe on the ground for a little bit more stability. Okay, we'll do it right and the left. Then we're going to go back down to our core. We're going to sit out or break dancers. So again, being over top of those wrists, knees are gonna be underneath the hips, we're gonna come into a bare crawl position. You wanna send your leg through, coming onto that single arm, doing that kick out, coming back to center, using your core, your obliques, sending that leg through, coming back, right, and go back and forth. If that kick out's not available, I want you coming into that side plank, using those obliques, just tucking that knee, coming through, all right? Then our last exercise we're gonna do is a lateral lunge, again, with the knee drive or a hop. So right leg, you're gonna do it to your lateral lunge, pressing through the outside of the glute into your knee drive, or for more of a challenge, you can add a hop at the top. Okay, so we'll do right, then we'll do left, we'll take a break, we'll do it all over again. All right, let's get warmed up. So coming down to the ground, we wanna activate the glutes and make sure we're warmed up through the glutes. So we're gonna come to the ground, heels are gonna come in towards the bum. We wanna press through the heels, lifting up our hips and squeezing that bum, coming up onto those shoulders, and then lowering ourselves down. So a nice inhale, our exhale as we come up, and then a nice inhale as we come back down. We're gonna do a few of these just to get warmed up. Hopefully you can still see us. Having that nice press all the way up, and then that nice lower all the way down. Making sure that we're feeling that activation. So if you need to, you can even Put your hands on your bum and make sure that you feel that, all right? Let's do a couple more of those. So if you're following along at home, you're just exhaling as you press up, inhaling as you come to the floor, breathing through this. Let's do two more. So that means lift all the way up, bring yourself back down. Get in our last one here, we're gonna lift all the way up and bring ourselves back down. Once you're done, you can come to a tall stand position. We're gonna stand up nice and tall. We're gonna start with the knee to chest tuck. So bring that knee up towards the chest, and just driving it in. You can rotate through those ankles if you want to, making sure you're getting that squeeze through the glutes. I want you to think about engaging the core, drawing the tummy in, right? Standing up nice and tall. Good job. Walking this back and forth. On your next one, I want you to bring that knee across the body a little bit. So getting a little bit more into the glute, a little bit deeper. Good. And just walking this back and forth. Excellent. Good. Standing up nice and tall, breathing. Good job. 
You gotta do it one more time each side. So right or left, good work. And then we're gonna go left or right. Excellent. Let's get into those hamstrings. We're gonna stay just on the right side. I want you to send that right foot forward. You're gonna hinge the hips, scooping down towards those toes as you draw that shin into, or those toes in towards your shin. Getting that nice reach through the back side of the body. And we're just gonna stay here on the right side, right? Nice exhale, reaching towards those toes, and that inhale as you come all the way up. Good job. Keeping that back nice and flat. Try and get that stretch through that whole back of the body. Good work, you guys. Let's do it one more time. Excellent. Let's take it to the other side. So we're going to readjust. Taking that left foot forward. Nice big reach out towards those toes. And we're going to bring ourselves all the way up again. Excellent. It does feel like I've got a class going on here. <laughs> Good work. Big reach. Excellent, you guys. Making sure again, drawing that tummy in, shoulders are pulled together, drawing those toes in towards the shin. Excellent, let's do it one more time. Let's big reach all the way out. And then bring ourselves all the way out. Beautiful, we've got a lateral lunge. So let's warm up with a bit of one. So you're gonna take your feet wide, toes are gonna point forward, shoulders are back, engage the core. And we're gonna hinge into that right side and then press yourselves up. Good, and then to that left. And that press all the way up. Again, making sure that you're pushing through that outer part of the glute, through the whole glute when you come to the top. Right? A little tap of the tailbone when we come up. Good job. Nice exhale as we press. Beautiful. All right, let's do a couple more times each side. So right or left. Nicely done. Left or right. And then we're gonna do one more set right here, right or left. Good work. And then our last one right here, left or right. Good. I want you to walk your toes in just a little bit. So you've still got some space. You're going to reach down and grab your toes. You're going to stretch out through the back, through the back of the legs, draw the head down, big stretch. And then when you come up, I want you to drop your bum down, bring your elbows to the inside of your knees. And let's open up that so you flex a little bit more. Right? So nice big stretch all the way up, reach, reach, reach. Good. And then bring your bum down. Nice stretch right here. Good work. If you're coming up off those heels a little bit, that's okay. You can either lift the heels or maybe just not come quite as low, trying to keep those heels on the ground. Good, let's do it two more times. Let's big stretch all the way up. Good, and then bring it back. And then our last one here, big stretch, reach, reach, reach. Good job, and then we're gonna bring that bum down. Excellent, big stretch all the way up. Nice, and you're gonna roll yourself up, bring those shoulders to the top. Let's walk those feet in just a little bit more. So the feet are gonna be about hip distance apart, toes are slightly turned out, we're just gonna send it into a squat. So coming back, loading up the hips, loading up the hamstrings, pressing through that floor, and again, activating through the glutes as we're here, right? You wanna make sure that you've got that nice alignment, 45 degrees, right, and you're getting that press. Try to think about ripping that floor part as you come up to get that squeeze, and it's that slow lower down, Nice little pull up. Good. Let's go four. Here's three. Excellent, you guys. Let's go two. And then we've got one more right here. And one. Good work. All right. We've got some lunges, so let's take it into a couple reverse lunges. Just your hands on the hip. We're going to take that nice step back, and then that big press up, and then that step back, and that press up. In your reverse lunge, you want to make sure that you're sending that weight right down the center. Your core is drawn in. You want to be nice and strong in that forward leg, right? Make that reverse and step up. Let's do a couple more each side. Nice. Making sure we're nice and warm, that we're ready, those joints are warm. Excellent. Last set. Good job, you guys. And one more. All right, let's shake up those legs. Let's make it so we get that heart rate going because it is kind of like a hip workout. We're going to be working constantly. So I want you to start just a little jog on the spot. Great, just get that little line you can toss side to side, whatever it is that you're comfortable with. I'll demonstrate the high impact, and I'll get Mel to demonstrate the low impact. So from here, I'm just going to start little butt kicks, so just trying to pull those heels in towards the bum just a little bit right now. So you can either add that jump or just that nice step side to side. All right, now we're going to take it to a bit more of an aggressive run, bring it up to those high knees. So you can either bring those knees up in front into that high run, or you can take it to that nice march. Keeping those shoulders back, core is engaged, chest is up, driving the knees to the front, using that core. We're going to take it to actual butt kicks, so pulling in behind, so driving those knees to the ground. And again, if you want to take up a hop, you're going to follow what Mel's doing, and just that nice little side to side. Good work, you guys. We're going to go four, three, two, and one. All right, grab some water. We're going to start the timer. We've got single leg reverse lunge, lunge. 
with the drive or lunge with the hop. All right, let's show that right leg. All right, so we've got our hand the timer. 50 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest, eight rounds, three times through. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right, so right leg is gonna do the lunge first, left leg in the front is gonna do the work, and then we'll switch going to the other side. You guys ready? We're gonna go into three, two, and one. So into that reverse lunge and that hop, or reverse lunge, and that knee drive, right? So bringing that knee up, we want to remember that we're exhaling, driving through the core, really pushing through that left leg. Excellent, you guys. Keep pushing with me. If you're here, if you're live, if you're doing the workout video from your living room or from your deck, maybe, right? Getting that workout in because we all want one. It's a great way to get those endorphins moving, right? Feeling good about ourselves. <clears throat> Excellent. If you're at home, maybe your kids are at home with you, you can get them doing this workout as well. Or they're going to sit, they're going to get your phone, and they're going to take pictures of you. <laughs> Almost there, you guys. Under 10 seconds to go. Keep breathing with me. Keep moving. Three, two, and one. All right. 10 seconds to readjust. Grab some water. Get yourself ready. We're going to the other side. All right. Up nice and tall. I know you guys are doing this at home. I know you're doing great. Here we go. Into the other side. Nice drive all the way up. Good. And remember this side, knee drive, right? You can take that hop out of it for that challenge. Maybe you want to try doing maybe five with the hop, five with no hop, right? We always want to try to push ourselves a little bit more, get ourselves moving. Excellent. For all of our lovely comments that are at home, you can now show your husband and be like, this is what we do. Maybe you can do it with you. Show them how tough you are. Good work, you guys. All right, we're coming up about 10 seconds on that hop. Let's push through. Remember your knee drive. Right, you can always take that hop out of it. Beautiful. We've got five seconds. Keep pushing for me. Woo! Let's go three, two, and one. All right. 10 seconds, we're going to the floor. Double knees, hold right, left, plank jump, or tackle. Ready? Three, two, and one. Here we go. So down to the ground. We're gonna drive the knee, drive the knee, plank jack. Drive the knee, drive the knee, plank jack. If you need to, drive the knee, drive the knee, tap, tap, right? Drive that knee. Making sure your wrists, shoulders are over your wrists. Draw that tummy in for me. Keep it nice and strong, right? Knee, knee, plank jack. Knee, knee, plank jack. If you need to, Coming to those elbows is always an option. With that knee drive, don't worry about that bum coming high, right? We're worried about pulling it in, crunching it in. All right, we're almost there. Keep pushing for me, right? We're coming close. Three, two, and one. All right, up we go. Single leg or heels. So, I want you to stand on that right leg, zip it up. Take up to the inner thighs. We're gonna hinge at the hips. We're gonna lengthen it up. Here we go. So all the way down. Draw it in, draw it in, draw it in. Good. When we come into this single leg reverse line or single leg RDL, I want you to think about keeping those hips square. So if that hip starts to lift, we're going a little bit too deep. I need you to square it up, nice hinge. Reaching for that ground if you can, or hands at your side. Remember for stability, one foot comes on the ground. And we're really being mindful and thinking about this one leg, right? You're gonna press that floor raise, drive it in. Nice flat back as we come down. Hinging, sending that bum back, keeping that chest proud, tucking that chin so that you've got that nice long line. Lengthen it out, you can feel it. Engage it, pull a little way forward. We're almost there, and time. Excellent, let's go to the other side. So shake up that leg. I know you felt this on this side. Don't need weights to make things work, right? Shoulders back, core engaged. Here we go, other side. So again, either following with Mel with that nice long leg, or keeping that toe on the ground for a little stability as we hinge it forward and draw it in. Good. Nice exhale as you come up, engaging through that muscle. And I want you to think about that, that lengthening. You can feel it, like I said, and that pull coming all the way in. 
Check that form. How's that tummy doing? Is it drawn in? Are you nice, and, nice and controlled? Good work, you guys. Definitely getting your sweat on here, right? Feeling those muscle groups working. Good work, good work. Shoulders to back. Maybe you're doing these in your pajamas. Now you don't have to call out spandex and come to class and be like, I got it in my flannels. Good work. Nice big pull. Oh, yeah, let's do one more for me. Nice extension all the way down. And we're coming up. All right, we've got sit-outs. So I want to make sure that you guys can see this. You're going to come into that very prone position. Right? And we're going to pull that leg through and come out. Pull that leg through and come out. All right, so bear crawl. Here we go. Bring that leg through. Bring yourself back in. Leg through and back in. Keeping that tummy in. Use those obliques. Every time you come back, I want you to make sure that your hands are underneath your wrists, right? Into your shoulders, and that you've got those knees just off the ground, coming into that kick out, into that sit out position. You're gonna try to bring that hip to the ground using the obliques here, drawing that tummy in nice and tight. Excellent, you guys. It's looking really good. Keep that push going. Breathe for me into that sit out. Remember, you can always just take just a little knee through, right? It doesn't have to be the whole thing if that mobility in those hips aren't there. Good job, you guys. We've got about five seconds to go. Bring ourselves through. Kick it out if you can. And time. All right. Single leg lateral lunge with a knee drive. It's a more of a challenge with a hop. Okay, we're going to the side move here. We're going to start right leg first. Here we go. Lunge it out. Drive that knee in. Lunge it out. Now, if you want to, add that hop. Lunge into that hop. Good job. Nice and strong. We're pushing right to that right side only, right? Getting all the work for us here. When we're here, too, shoulders are back. Tummy is engaged. Good. Nice breath. Exhale when you push. And again, if there's no hop, drive the knee. I want you to be mindful of that knee. I want you to think about where that pull is coming from. Every time you bring it up. Good work, you guys. Keep pushing, keep pushing. This lower body is going to thank you for this. All right, 10 seconds to go. We got it. Last five. We're using every second here. One more. And push. All right, rest for me. Shake that leg out. Go on left side this time, all right? We're going to pull up your body. Keep that core engaged. We're going to go three, two, and one. Here we go. Step it out. Either knee drive or hop. Good. And again, with that hop, Maybe you do five, four, three hops, right? And then you can do the same amount for just a regular knee drive. So you bring it up into that lunge. Bring it up. We're going to do this two more times. We're going to be here with you doing it two more times. Good work, you guys. Over our halfway mark right here. Now you're going to add that hop, right? And feel into the lunge. A little bit more of a challenge. Excellent. Breathe for me. You guys have got this. We've got four seconds. Three, two, and one. All right. Woo. Shake up those legs. Good job. So you're going to grab some water. Maybe grab a towel if you need it. Right? High five your kiddos if they're around. High five yourself if you're around. Excellent work. All right. So <laughs> this next round through, maybe you can add the hop. You can try adding a hop. Maybe you hop all the way through. Those legs are a little bit tired. Maybe you take the hop out for this next round. All right, we're gonna do that one, two more times. I'm gonna open up the door. Hold on. Get it down from here. All right. So let's reset that clock. I've got the clock here, so if you don't have one, that's okay. I'm watching you. All right.
Good work, you guys. All right, we're coming down to that 10-second mark. The biggest push is going to be right here. Staying focused. Mind over matter. Good work, good work. And time. All right, shake up those legs. We're on to the other side. 10 seconds goes quick, but you can enjoy that little bit of rest. Big breath in. Ready? And here we go. Nice. Right away into that hot foot drop. Good work. And remember, we're staying with this side. You can always take that hop out all of a sudden, just driving that knee. Right? Use those up with that upper body. Use those arms. Remember to smile. Take more muscles on the ground. Then we're already working a lot. Good work, you guys. All right, we're well over that halfway mark. Let's keep pushing. Let's drive this home. Come on. You got it, you got it. All right, we're gonna go three, two, and time. All right, high plank, single knee drive, right left, into your plank jack, all right? Mel's gonna do it, I'm gonna stand up, I don't really, I don't really see us. All right, ready, here we go. Hands under the shoulders, nice drive, knee, knee, plank jack, knee, knee, tap it out. All right, when we're here, we're in this nice plank position, so we want to make sure shoulders are engaged. I'd rather see a little bit of an arch than your hips dipping too low. Trying to use those lower abs, trying to think about crunching that knee in towards the chest. Inner outer thighs, working for that plank jack. In, in, plank jack. In, in, plank jack. Make sure that you're not smoothly moving away from those hands. Be right up over the top of them. Awesome, we're almost there, under 10 seconds to go. Play jack, in, in, tap it out, tap it out in time. All right, single leg over the L's. These are like recovery, active recovery for these. Right, we're gonna slow them down. Set that form, we're into that right leg. Here we go. So hinging, right, engage and pull yourself in. Okay, if that leg is coming off the ground, fantastic. Make sure you're not opening up through that hip. Keep it square, or one toe is just gonna balance on the ground. Knees are slightly together, hinging, drawing it in. Let's think about it. You got this nice long muscle, nice long muscles in the back of the leg, right? You're gonna lengthen them out, trying to keep that glute engaged, and then you're gonna engage and pull yourself back in, pressing that sole of the foot into the ground, keeping your shoulder blades back. And I know we have a tendency to look up. Bring that chin in. So we've got that nice straight line all the way down. Good work, you guys. Let's do two more. Nice extension. And in. Good. We've got one more. Extension. Good. And then in. Beautiful. All right. Shake out that leg. We're going to go to the other side. All right. Zip it up to that leg. Ready? Here we go. Hand to the hip. Good. Press, press, press. Pull it all the way in. Good job, you guys. Nice hand to the hip. I find body weight exercises some of the hardest, right? We work out with weights all the time, but you throw in these body weight exercises and you go, oh, yeah, that's a challenge. Good, it gives you time to think about it too, right? We normally have weights in our hands for our deadlifts. This way we can really think about the muscle that we're using, how we're gonna properly engage it, how we're gonna find that resistance to pull it back in with, right? And that nice pull all the way in. Good work, nice hinge of those hips. Good, and pull it all the way in. All right, we've got another 10 seconds to go. Let's get a couple more in here. I know you guys got it. Good, and our last one here, hinging it out, and then bringing it in. Beautiful, all right, we're going to those sit-ups. All right, so coming down to the ground with that bear crawl position for me. I just want to make sure you can see Mel here. All right, we're going to go in three, two, and one. So, bear crawl, knees under the hips, bringing that bum to the ground, getting that full sit through, Remember, if you can't do that full sit through, you're just gonna kind of bring that knee through just a little bit, right? Keeping that tummy engaged. When she comes into that bear crawl position, she's got that nice flat back, right? And she's breathing while she's here. Good, that nice sit out and bring it in and sit out and bring it in. Good work. Don't worry, next tomorrow I get to be the participant. 
Excellent. Good job, you guys. We're almost there. Right? So 10 seconds of work right here for me. So keeping those hands underneath the shoulders. Okay, let's do one more on the other side. And time. Nicely done. All right. Lateral lunges, right? Lateral lunges, left. Look at this. We're working our way through. Last two exercises right here. All right. Up nice and tall. We're going to go to three, two, and one. So that hinge. And you can drive me or hinge. And you can hop. Right? Whatever one you want to do. Maybe one of you want to each. Right? Maybe you do no hop. And then you do a hop. This is your challenge. Right? What you want to do right here, right now. Good. Excellent, you guys. Remember to exhale. Whew, on that way out. When you're here, I want you to think about where are we pulling from for that knee. Right? Where's that work coming from? Where's that push coming from? Right from the outer part of the glute. Hinge it forward. Pop it up. Hinge it forward. Pop it up. Now you can do two with no hop. Right? It's got knee drive. All right, 10 seconds. We're so close to being done on this side. Can we feel that burn? Excellent work. And time. All right, shake up that leg. We've got the other side. Nice little water break. Then one more time. All right, up tall, ready, and here we go. That nice hinge. Try that. Hinge. Good, yeah. Good work. Everything's nice and tight. I want to get the most out of my workout right now. Excellent. Hinge, add a hop. Hinge, no hop. Right, your, your choice, your pick, right here. Woo! All right, halfway. Come on, let's pick it up. Let's push. Nicely done. We're almost there, we're so close. And again, we got a smile. Now, if you just joined in, you're like, oh, I forgot about this. Again, we're going to post this 
right wrist, shoulders over top of wrist. Just gonna make sure you can see this. We're gonna go in three, two, and one. Here we go. Knee drive, knee drive, plank jack, or knee drive, knee drive, toe taps, right? Think about drawing that tummy in. You wanna kinda crunch those knees into that chest. We're into those inner thighs, outer thighs, with that plank jack or toe taps, slowing it down. Make sure you're not pushing back on those wrists. Right, we're gonna keep those shoulders over top. Everything's engaged. Working nice and strong. Looks good now, almost there. We're coming to that 10 star foot mark. Knee drive, knee drive. Plank jack, knee drive, knee drive, toe tap. This is your last set right here. Three, two, and one. All right. Active recovery, single leg RDLs. This is where we can catch our breath a little bit, slow things down, right? All right, shoulders back, engage that core. Here we go, that nice hinge. Tightening up through that inner thigh, right? Pressing through that floor. As soon as we tighten up through that inner thigh, that lower part of the core, the lower abs start to work. All of a sudden, everything kind of checks into place, right? So we're nice and strong. If you can, hands to the side and reach towards that floor. As you pull it in. And again, toe on the ground too, right? It helps us with that stability, but we're not using this leg that's helping with the balance all on that right side. Nice flat back. Take a second, I want you to take a second. How is everything feeling? Right? Are we working that muscle group? We're not just going through the motion, we're thinking about everything that you're doing. All right, we're almost there. That nice hinge, big pull, and time. All right, let's switch it out to the other side. So up nice and tall. Oh, all right, we're gonna go in three, two, and one. Here we go. So that hinge, good, big pull all the way up, right? Take a look, watch my back, watch my form. And nice and tight, got a nice flat back. Sticking that bum back, keeping my chest up. Good work. Lengthen it out and engage. Beautiful, you guys. We're looking really good. And again, we're taking that little bit of time. We're slowing that heart rate down just a little bit, right? Squeeze into that inner thigh, pulling up to that core. Nicely done. Hinge and engage. Good. Hinge and engage. We've got 10 seconds right here, all right? And we're coming into our last. Exercises. You guys have done phenomenal. We're gonna do one more. Hinge and engage. All right, let's rest. We got those sit-outs. All right, so come to the ground. One of my favorite, favorite exercises to do. Remember those hands underneath the shoulders. Ready? Here we go. Ten seconds rest. Boom. We're right into them right away. Boom. Getting that pull through. Pull. When I'm here, strong. Trying to get that hip to the ground. If that foot isn't coming through, just that little bit of Right? Being over top of those wrists, making sure that I've got that nice flat back, knees are just slightly off the ground. Pull it through, bring it in. Good work, you guys. Pull it through, bring it in. Remember, we're right here, right? Nice and strong. Pulling it through, bringing it in. Pulling it through, bringing it in. Good, that 10 seconds on the clock. Here we go. Can you step it up just a little bit? Make it a challenge. Good work, good work. And time. All right, two exercises. Lateral lunge, knee drive up hop, right. Lateral lunge, knee drive up hop, left. We got this. Three, two, one, here we go. Lunge, knee drive, right. Or lunge, up. Now, alternate, knee drive, lunge, hop. Now we're gonna do two. Lunge, knee drive, right. Lunge, knee drive. Now we're gonna do two hops. Good work. Whatever works for you, whatever you feel like you can push through. These last two exercises where we finish strong. Good work, good work. Excellent, you guys. We're so close to being done on this side. We're well past that halfway mark. Use that upper body. We're nice and strong. Don't just let those arms hang. All right? Here we go. Five seconds. One more. You can do it. And time. All right, other side. Last exercise, best exercise in the world, right? All right, here we go. We're gonna go four, three, two, and one. Step and drive. 
or a step. Try to pick up what you did on the other side. Great, warm yourself up. We did a couple of one and ones. Then we went to a couple two and twos. And then we just went for it. Good job. Nice and done. Keep pushing for me. All right. We're coming down. We got about 20 seconds left on that clock. Come on, we're over that halfway. Let's push. Nice. There's nothing like seconds when it comes to fitness. <laughs> Longest time of your life. All right, here we go. Under 10. You got this. Eight. Keep pushing. Six. Almost there. Here's four. That's the two. One more. Come on. And one. Woo! We did it. Nice and done. Good job, you guys. All right. Woo! Slow that breath down for me. It was elevated there. So just kind of walk around. Flip that breath down. Grab your towel. Grab your water. Oh, that is our first live fitness video. First YouTube fitness video. I'm pretty excited. It's going to be a lot of fun. All right. Once you let that heart rate come down a little bit, you want to come down a little bit more. I'm just send that right foot forward. You're going to hinge, bend through that back knee, hinge the hips, and you can take your opposite hand to the outside of that opposite foot. I'm just going to nice stretch right here. Kind of breathe into the back of that leg. Try to slow that breathing down a little bit. Good job. Just take breath in. Let's exhale. Let's do it one more time. You can draw it in just a little bit deeper on that exhale. Fantastic. All right, bring yourself all the way up and out. Woo, all right, other side, left foot forward. We're gonna hinge up those hips, reaching down if you can, opposite hand to the outside of that foot. Good, notice, notice this one side will look tighter than the other, right? When you inhale, on the exhale, you try to pull this a little bit deeper, a little bit farther into that stretch. Good, one more time. Excellent, and bring yourselves all the way up. If you need a wall, you can have one near you or a chair, you can use that. Or standing in the center of the room, you're going to reach back, grab your right set of toes. I want you to bring those knees together, push that hip forward, squeeze from the bum, and get into the front of that quad a little bit more. Standing up nice and tall. Right, you can grab his ear, they say, or bring your hand over your head. You're going to get that nice stretch right here. Good work. So, you guys, let's release that leg. Like I said, we are going to be here for you. Monday to Friday, we live videos. Spread those knees, press that hip forward, and a big reach out for your physical and mental well being, right? It's so important right now to be active and to stay strong. This definitely helps, you know, it makes me feel better when I get in a good class or a good workout. Good job. All right. And then let's release that leg. Let's look the outside. So the idea of bend to that side glute. You're going to put your right foot. Right foot over top of the left. Left hand is going to come up. All right. And then we're going to hit with those hips, setting ourselves back. Try to touch the inside of your left foot. And we'll take that stretch down that left side. You should feel this. Good work. As you inhale, as you exhale, pull our toes down into that stretch. Beautiful. And then bring ourselves all the way up and out. All right, let's go to the other side. Left foot's gonna come over top of that right. Right hand's gonna come up this time. Good, and then we're gonna hinge in those hips, bringing ourselves down, and coming into that stretch. And when we stick that as hips back and that bum back, we can get a little bit deeper into that stretch. Good, just breathe in here for me.
all the way up and out. Give those legs a little bit of a shake. There we go. First video. Woo! Done and done. Thank you so much if you joined us live and did the workout. Well done. Again, check us out on YouTube. We'll give you a little clip of the workout, show you what it is. Time runs all you need and some water. Towel runs, you know, kind of sweaty now. All right. Have a good day. Love you. High five. <laughs>